breaking down all 27 things you missed from Survivor Season 46, Episode 5. We're talking all things Survivor Trivia Game, a huge Survivor blindside, Purple finally winning a challenge, Hunter finding the advantage, and much more. Careful for any spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet, and make sure to stick around as we announce last week's giveaway winner. If you want to enter next week's giveaway, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below your favorite moment from Survivor. Survivor 46 so far. Let's get started with number 27 previously on Survivor. I love the fact that Survivor is showing off Jelinski every chance they get, even if he was, you know, the first boot of the season. And it's even been rumored that episode 7 is titled episode several. Reminder, there's a lot of things to cover heading into the merge or the fake merge next week. Currently, Maria and Tevin have extra votes. Tiffany has an idol. Jem has an idol. Ben lost his vote. So I'm not gonna lie, after a pretty boring boring and rough episode of Survivor last week, I really think we bounced back with a top tier episode. Linsky, you got rocked too. Joe, we read that sweat task and it said it's gonna take several hours and we have four. Last I checked, several means seven. Number 26, Purple After Tribal. Although I didn't like to see the hate that Bonnie was getting online, I was ready to see him voted out. This tribe is down to its final three players, and it is right, we have seen smaller tribes in the new era of Survivor, but this is the longest we've ever been without a tribe having Flint. And it's gonna be some really good buildup all episode long to see whether or not the Purple Tribe will win the challenge or not. It's a great story either way. We have a comeback victory or the downfall of the Purple Tribe. Number 25, is Green still vibing? It's been the running joke all season long that this Green Tribe isn't really playing Survivor, they're just out there in Fiji vibing, but it's finally starting to catch up to them as Ben's in rough shape leading into number 24 alliances on green. We'll talk about it later in the video but with green ultimately going to tribal council we finally get the lines drawn in the sand as people are sus of Ben and Charlie always being together even though it was pointed out all the way back now in episode one that Charlie is with the girls and I said it last week I'll say it again who is Tim? Number 23 idol on green. It's going to be super important what happens happens with this idol, so let's roll what I said last week. I'm not sure about Jem's move here and if I think it's a smart move or not. I still think Jem got too excited, was overplaying a little bit, and didn't need to do this. For now, she looks okay as people suspect him or Ben has the idol, leading into some really weird moments happening on the island with some weird song battles and salsa dancing. But it's all part of the strategy if you think about it, you know? It's going to be very important for me to really be in lockstep with my number one ally, Maria. Number 22, Orange Idol Hunt. We're in a really confusing spot on this orange tribe going into the merge next week. We literally have no idea what's going on. Especially with Randon finding the idol before getting pulled from the game. We suspected that he told Venus about the idol, but that's not true leading into number 21, Hunter finds the idol. But before he finds it, he has a really awkward conversation with Venus where Venus basically calls him the biggest threat in the game. And Liz is getting a really weird edit on Survivor the past five episodes, as apparently she doesn't care to look for the idol. Number 20, the advantage rules. If you don't watch international versions of Survivor, you don't know about this, but a similar advantage was hidden on international Survivor and all the players did was break the box. From earlier in the season, this beware advantage works the same way, but it won't matter here as Hunter's gonna get the idol anyway with next episode being the merge. And with making his own Survivor, challenges and puzzles, Hunter is a huge threat. Build challenges in my backyard. This is what my house looks like. It's full of puzzles and stuff left over from previous challenges that I've done. Number 19, Survivor Puzzle Practice. As we all know, the great equalizer in Survivor challenges are the puzzles. If you dream of one day playing Survivor, you're gonna wanna check out Idol Plays in my replica Survivor puzzles. So far, the fan favorite puzzle in the Survivor 46 drop has been in the tree puzzle. Seen in Survivor Winners at War and Survivor 44 where Carson dominated. If you want to dominate some Survivor challenges or throw your own Survivor party with the tree puzzle, the first 10 people to use the code TREE25 get 25% off the tree puzzle. So if you're interested in checking out Idol Plays or you want to support me and the channel, it really goes a long way if you go to idolplays.com. And remember the first 10 people to use the code TREE25 get 25% off the tree puzzle. Number 18, will purple lose? As we mentioned,
mentioned earlier in the video, I really appreciate the Survivor producers playing this game of if Purple's gonna win or lose the challenge. Lesson to future Survivor players, there's no guarantee if you're gonna get your flint or not, so learn how to make fire without the flint. Number 17, what are you talking about? Let me know your thoughts down below on Q telling Kenzie he's ready to quit Survivor. I thought it was a super strange moment, especially with Q being upset with Jelinski quitting in episode one. I'm gonna be completely serious. Q tricked me. It was a big brain move to actually trick Kenzie. Ultimately, Kenzie buys the lie and Q wants her to be comfortable because he's closer with Tiffany. So let me ask you, what are you talking about? What are y'all talking about? You talking about wood? What are y'all talking about? Coconuts versus papayas. What are y'all talking about? Number 16, Tika Man on Green. You know what I'm gonna say, who is Tim? I wish the producers would show more of Tim, well, you know, instead of just showing him talk about poop. We get a little bit of strategy as the group is trying to figure out who moved the beware advantage. And we gotta shout out Tim here, a round of applause for calling it correctly and saying it was Jem who has the advantage. And we also know from earlier in the season, Tim's number one alliance is Maria with the good old parent connection. Number 15, the challenge. It's time for the big payoff if Purple's going to win or if they're gonna lose the challenge Jeff Probst really hypes up this moment as the players will race through a crazy three-level obstacle Collecting keys and firing sandbags at targets and they're also playing for a killer reward with pastries and fruit for both tribes to finish Number 14 immunity challenge if you blinked you would have missed it as before the challenge started the producers actually teased who would win the challenge I'll slow it down right here as we can see orange and purple sandbags, but not the green ones. I was getting worried for purple as they started the challenge in last place, but they were able to make it up as orange will win the challenge, but purple finally gets immunity coming in second place. Number 13, Journey Decision. We first have a well-deserved moment with Kenzie, Q, and Tiffany as they talk about finally winning, but more importantly, we have the Orange Tribe deciding on who's gonna be going on the journey. This is, in my opinion, one of the most important journeys of the season, as we're about to be heading into the merge and you don't want people not in your alliance to get an advantage. They ultimately select Hunter, Tim, and Q to go on the journey. Number 12, Journey Time. And I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty disappointed that we didn't get a tribe swap this season, but we do have the potential for a cross-tribal alliance to actually work out, as these three boys have a bro out and talk about being the biggest threats in the game. Now, I will say, math probably isn't Q's strength because you need more than six people at the final 13, and I was a little taken back by this, but Tim tells the boys about Maria's extra vote. The alliance will be Hunter, Tevin, Q, Tiffany, Tim, and Maria. Number 11, Journey Game. As a super fan of Survivor, I was obsessed with this challenge. We'll talk about it. I'm getting carried away. The rules are simple. Only one player gets to compete. The three players decide who gets to compete. And it's a battle of Survivor super fan knowledge. If you win, you get an advantage. But if you lose, you lose your vote. Number 10, Hunter plays. Ultimately, Tim doesn't want to lose his vote. So him and Q decide to let Hunter play. I'm serious. I paused the TV. I was jumping up and down as Hunter needed to arrange 20 Survivor logos. This challenge was for all of us, and I really think if you were watching this video, you could have done this challenge. But sadly, Hunter isn't the perfect Survivor super fan, and he loses the challenge. Number 9, super fan. I know I'm a super fan, I know you're a super fan, and all I'm saying is, if you could name all the seasons of Survivor, you should click the subscribe button. If you aren't subscribed yet, please do so, as I'm on the road to be passing Russell Hansen subscribers. And as a bonus, once we hit 10,000 subscribers, subscribers, I'm going to be making a dedicated video interviewing Russell Hans. Number 8, Purple Wins. It felt good to see Kenzie and Tiffany smile and enjoy all the good food. Surprisingly, they did survive 11 days of zero fire. However, I wasn't a fan of it, and ultimately I'm never a fan of it when the producers don't include the section of the player returning from the journey. Number 7, Green Loses. This is when the game starts on the Green Tribe as they're going to Tribal Council, with Maria having 
an extra vote, Tim and Ben going on journeys, and Jem having the idol. Anything is possible on this tribe as Jem tells the group she's going idol hunting. Number six, activating the idol. Remember, Jem still needs to do some puzzle to activate her idol. And with all the adrenaline going on, I thought it was impressive Jem pulled this off. And possibly a hot take, I know some people don't like idol hunts, but I thought this was a really fun scene when Jem finally grabbed it. Number five, Tim's journey. We get Tim telling half the truth and half a lie as he tells the truth about the journey, but leaves out the cross-tribal alliance. Number four, the plans. And ultimately, there's going to be a couple different plans in place. Number one, the girls and Charlie vote Ben. And number two, the boys and Maria vote Jem. And obviously, it was a great scene of Ben and Jem holding a machete, talking strategy. Number three, Charlie and Maria. Being in the middle of the tribe, it means Charlie and Maria, they ultimately get the decision on who's going home. I think they went with the boys because Maria is close with Tim and Charlie is close with Ben. And surprisingly, we have a throwaway scene of Ben telling Maria and Charlie that he lost his vote. Number two, tribal council. I was surprised to see Maria burn her extra vote. Honestly though, for how useless extra votes can be sometimes, it might be better just to get rid of it. And it was a great little scene how she made both her votes for Jem look different. And unfortunately, we all know what's about to happen. Jem could have saved herself with her hidden immunity idol leading into... If you have an idol, play it. Number one, Jem voted out. Anyways, congratulations Claire. You're this week's puzzle giveaway winner. I'll announce a new winner next week and click right here for my dream survivor 47 cast.